Hello guys, here I have Sony Xperia L and I have a pin lock and I will show you how to remove it. It's a pattern lock, actually not pin lock. So that phone it has unlockable bootloader, you cannot unlock bootloader, so you need to flash it with uh, with a ROM, stock ROM or whatever it is, and it will remove the the that pattern lock. So I will show you what I'm gonna use. I will use flash tool. Let me start it here. And I will show you what you will need to remove the pattern lock. On the screen you can see the flash tool. So here I have a web page what I want to show you. And that version of the flash tool, here you can see the version, allows you to download the firmware for the phone. Here they show the steps, what you need to do. I already downloaded it and uh, you will just follow those steps like you choose you connect if you you choose devices check updates you will get that window you you look for the your phone model by the way if you don't phone you do, if you don't know the model of your phone I will show you how you can see it here because the side of the name of the phone also it it has a model number sometimes you don't you don't have access to that so here I can show you where you can see the model number in uh, let me see where is it in portable devices you can see that Xperia L here and when you go to details here you can see the model number see so next step what I'm gonna do I will show you in flash tool what you're gonna do you press devices you check updates you choose your model here for example Sony Xperia L and you see them here on the top you see different modifications right you see for different markets as mine was C2104, I scroll down to find my carrier. In my case, it's Videotron. It's also you can see it's Canada here. So when you press like that, it will show you the current version of firmware. If you will press again, it will try to download it. Okay. The process will take kind of like. It depends from the your network speed etc it will it could take up to 30 minutes here it shows you and explains what you're gonna do at the end when it will finish the download you will get that window and here you will choose on the left side everything and press that button and it will be copied on the right once you did it you press on create button it will create a flash file for you okay so I will show you what you will get in the folder at the end of the process flash tool and you will get firmwares in downloads you will get that thing for example as me all kind of that thing okay and uh, before to connect the phone you should uh, install drivers you, you 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 can get the applications with drivers uh, here from flash tool drivers and you will have this file when you run this file it will ask you to check the box and it will install the drivers for you first of all you could you should check the 
first and second box and after you will look on the list for your phone for example on the right in description it also shows you what kind of Xperia you can install like you you see here for example now you can see on the left on the right sorry Xperia E1 so on the list you can find your phone and install a driver for it it's a really useful tool to install Sony drivers also you could download that application from the description so let's come back here so idea is to switch the phone to flash mode or fast boot mode so in next step I will switch the phone to flash mode and press ok ok so to connect the phone to the flash mode you power roll the phone you press volume down button and connect the cable to your PC okay here I already did that and you can see here device connected in flash mode okay is there a way to do this you leave that connector in, in the phone you power down the phone you press volume down button and connect here in the in the PC it's the easiest way because it's kind of tricky to insert the, the plug in the phone so the phone still has that pattern lock and I will press OK let's see what's gonna happen here I have as you can see Videotron my model I choose here and the most important thing here on the right wipe cache and data also for some reason my phone doesn't stay in that mode you see it switched to like it started so it doesn't stay for a long time in, uh, in the flash mode by the way I will continue here on that side I wanna try to exclude that whole thing and just to wipe the data maybe it's gonna work I don't wanna flash everything okay so doing that excluding I will try to just to wipe the data let me press on the flash button and see what's gonna happen as you can see it asks me to connect the phone to the flash mode first of all I will turn on the phone here Okay, now I will try to do this with one hand. It's not really kind of. Mm. Let's turn on again. Okay, so now I am pressing volume down button. I will try to plug the cable back. Okay, so I succeeded to connect the phone to the flash mode. Now it's doing something on the screen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay. Ending flash session flash and finished. Here you can see processing of cache scene finished, processing user data scene check in header flash and data, processing of user data scene finished, ending flash session flash and finished. Let's start the phone. Maybe it's gonna work now without that pin or something. I'm gonna disconnect the cable and we'll try to start the phone.
okay so you did uh, the apparently the factory reset as you can see and uh, it will take around two three minutes to complete the factory reset and to rationalize the, the phone so you will need to wait and as you can see there is no any pattern or pin lock or whatever it is all user settings have been removed and uh, now you have a phone completely clean okay so what uh, don't forget what you will lose all your user data okay and this is it please press on like button if you like my video and share with your friends that technique will work on any Sony Xperia what is compatible with that flash tool what I have here you can download that app from uh, link in the description and please press on like button if you like my video thank you for watching